Can you wait a little moment? The Master Diviner will be here soon. She temporarily taken on the General's responsibilities. Before meeting you, she must make the current situation known and fortify public spirit. This is her first real test as a general. I hope she can get used to things quickly. You're talking about Fu, right? Fushuan? Yes, Fushuan. I am one million percent gonna be pulling for her. She's gonna be a beast. She is going to be an absolute beast. It's so good to see you, Fushuan. Casualties and losses. Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the disciples. Submitting battle reports to the six charioteers. Now I know what Jing Yuan meant when he said, the highest throne faces the strongest wins. That's prophetic. It came out Sunday. I've been doing good, but I have to be out of work for a few weeks. Well, I'm sending you all the positive vibes, Junie. All the positive vibes. I hope you recover soon. I hope you recover quickly. But you're enjoying yourself, right? Share your troubles with me. Um, Share your troubles with me, Fu. I care about you. I want you to be okay. No trifling matter. It is a duty one must bear. Fu, you're strong-willed. I think she actually really enjoys it. I think so too, March. I'm I'm with you on that one. Finder, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? Yeah. Of course not. On the contrary, I am eager to thank you all in my official capacity as acting general of the Law Fu. Now that things have drawn to a conclusion. It is time to reward you. Ooh, what are you going to give us, Fu? Food. Banquet. Money. Jades! What are you going to give me? Ooh, all those benefits that the general promised. They're finally here. Yay! Give them to me. Give them to me, Fu. Yes. I worked hard. The Astral Express has braved great evil for the law, Fu. Your devotion is evident. After discussions with the Six Charioteers, you are henceforth sworn allies of the Law Fu. Yay! The Law Fu's jurisdiction. You are to be treated with the highest standard of diplomatic protocol. Okay. Thank you for that, Fu. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome. On behalf of the Astral Express, I would like to thank you, Master Diviner. Yes. Thank you, Fu. Oh, wow. Nothing tangible then? Uh, but at least it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> March. March is looking March had the same thought. I think me and March have the kind of the same mindset. Okay, I'm liking March and more more and more. Expressed. I still have something to discuss with you. Please, this way. Oh no. What do you need us to do now, Foo? We've already saved your the law foo. Now what do you want us to do? Where is Imbibitor Lunay in all this? Where are you where's where's he? Where is he? What is he doing? Go through the events surrounding the Ambrosia Arbor's calamity with Fushuan. Yeah, how? Okay. Oh, God. This. I got like chills because the story is this, that good. A little convoluted, a little complicated, a little overly complicated, but it's still really good. Fu, let's chat. Uh, seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? Right, March? Right? Right? It's not a mission. The Stellaron Crisis, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion, the Arbor's Resurrection, not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the Law Fu. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. Yeah, I'd say we need to get to the bottom of it. And what happened with Ting? We still don't know where Ting Yun is. We don't know anything about Ting Yun. No one is discussing Ting Yun. Like we're like they're forgetting about her. Like what? It's just that having been in the middle of everything, I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. I'm struggling too, Fu. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me so that I can reacquaint myself with a finer detail. Okay, we'll go through it. Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing, Fu. Where should we begin? At the start. At the start, um, let's discuss Fantilia first. Yeah, what is she? Where in the hell did she it come from? That Fantilia was the mastermind behind it all. The Sienjo warred with the Antimatter Legion in the past, and ever since we have kept a watchful eye on their movements. 
Right, okay. You could have foreseen the insidious tactics employed in the execution of their assaults. The Lord Ravager slithered in unnoticed, clandestinely plotting and machinating, and surreptitiously bestowed a Stellaron upon the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. This heinous act instigated an uprising aimed at luring the Lafu into a perilous trap of self-destruction. Right, with Ting Yun basically being that person on the inside to do the dirty work for Fantilia. The present danger but not Ting Yun? Clearly demands a it wasn't Ting Yun? We should proceed cautiously. I think so, Fu. I agree. I agree. Let's talk about the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. The arbor was severed by the Rainbow Arbiter thousands of years ago. The abundance became a taboo. Those within the Alchemy Commission, the original masters of the so-called Way of Immortality, were ruined at a stroke. <clears throat> the Commission became a shadow of its former self. Okay, and? Presumably, from that moment on, the seeds of discord for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus had already been planted. Right. Some of them were willing to work with the enemy, acquiring a Stellaron from the Antimatter Legion to try and revive the Abundance. Right, the Ambrosia Har Arbor. Right, right. Yeah, okay. They succeeded all right. I would say. But why would Fantilia's objective to be to realize their wishes? Those we don't know. traitors gained nothing. She got away. They betrayed the Sienjo only to become sacrificial offerings in the Lord Ravager's grand scheme. It's weird. It's so weird. Like, Fantilia, like, escaped or whatever. We don't know where in the world she went. And then we didn't, and then Ting is disappeared. We don't know what happened to her. Let's discuss this seller on her. Yes, let's talk about Kafka, Blade, and all those guys. We know just as little. But in the Matrix of Prescience, I saw a prophecy that Kafka received from Destiny's slave. Elio foresaw all manner of possibilities for the Law Fu. Elio. Elio's like an eon, right? Jews, how are you? It's good to see you, friend. What are you up to today? I was lurking on you last night. Were you was last night? Last night? Jews, how are you doing, dude? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you're doing fantastic. How are you? How are you? So Elio gave Kafka a prophecy. Okay. Oops. I'm not on the game. Based on what Kafka knows, and despite everything being under the control of Elio, that prophecy is indeed the most beneficial future for the Law Fu. The Stellaron Hunters walked right into our trap, and even gifted allies, in the form of yourselves, to the Sien Cho. Right. That might sound self-interested. But I hope the feeling is mutual. No, I think, I don't think that's really right. It almost feels like Kafka was trying to help the Shan Zhou in a deceptive way, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, I almost feel like Kafka, I mean, she might have her own self interest in mind or whatever, but she knew what was happening she knew what was going on she knew the jane show couldn't do it themselves and she knew that she and blade couldn't do it themselves so that's why she called us but she kind of did it in this deceptive way um obviously she didn't want food to know that she was in town so that's why she used us to kind of help him out at least that's how i see it How's my day going? My day's going good, dude. It's good to see you. Doing well, thanks. Just finished work. I hope, I hope work is going okay. Are you on later tonight? If you are, what are you playing? Now that the future has come true, the San Joe has discovered the Legion's intentions, and with everyone's help, has imposed a crushing defeat on Fantilia. But she's not gone yet. She's not completely gone. We don't know where she went. That's the thing. That we may. But as logical as things might seem, there are still many details about which we're uncertain. Yeah, I don't, there's a lot of details. A lot, a lot. For example, how was the Stellaron brought onto the Sien Joe? And who sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? How many disciples of Sanctus Medicus still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. Thus far, 
We've done our best. I mean, we've done the best we can so far. These are all questions that are great questions. Yeah, who did bring the Stellaron to the Zhangzhou? Who sent it to the Scale Gorge Waterscape? We don't know any of that stuff. How many are there still disciples out there running around? I'm submitting my report to the Alliance, and I've already got a plan in mind. All of you will feature in the report, but for the sake of Jing Yuan, anything related to Xianzhou internal affairs will have names redacted. I hope you can forgive me. No, that's and that's fine. That's fine. I don't blame you. I don't put my name on it either. I mean, you know, I last thing I need is for like paparazzi to come around and ask me a bunch of questions, Fu. I was about to make the same request, Master Diviner. Since the Arbor's resurrection, I'm sure the Alliance will be pouring over every detail of the report. I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. I agree with you, Well, I agree. Keep us out of it as much as you can, Fu. Jing mm. Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around. And I'll have to deal with them one by one. <sighs> Cloud Knight generals are all such a hassle. Well, Jing showed up out of nowhere. And we still don't really know the connection between Jing and Don Hung and Bai Bitter Lune, or who used to be Don Fung. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. Will do, Fu. Anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. Well, thanks. I must attend to some cloud night matters. Where's the nearest McDonald's? Well for now. Oh, bye, Fu. Pass through Starskiff Haven. I have something that I hope you can give to Yukong. Yukong, we're gonna go see Yukong. Stop it. Something Miss Ting Yun left behind. It was all so chaotic when Fantilia took form. What happened to Ting Yun? Vanished into. I'm like more concerned about Ting Yun than anybody. Is she kidnapped? Like, how did this ha What? The Cloud Knights were only able to find her fan. She took it with her everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Fantilia, or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. Where is she? I'm already prepared for the worst. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission Amicassador may be a bleak one. Okay. As for how matters are handled with regards to Ting Yun, I believe it's best left to her foxy and Ken. What? What do you mean? I inform the Skyfaring Commission of the events which took place. And I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. All right, so we got to go see Yu Kong, give her Ting Yun's fan. But Yu Kong's going to be like pissed. Right? Like Yu Kong's just going to be mad. Thank you, Mr. Yang. And the last thing I want to do is piss yeah, off you, I'll Kong. Take a look at my remaining duties for the day. <sighs> it's quite the list. Fu, you're going to be okay. You can handle it. It's getting late. If you need me, I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave Hall. All right. We'll see you later, Fu. Arcadia, hi. How are you? It's good to see you. Happy Wednesday. What are you up to today? What are you up to today? What are you up to today? Oh, man, my ears itching. Oops, I'm still not on the game. All right, so we gotta go give this fan to Yu Kong. Head to the Palace of Ashram and give Yu Kong with the item that has been entrusted to you, the fan. Plan for the future after discussions with your companions. Discussions with my companions? How would I do that? All right, so. Okay. So are we. I'm gonna assume that this. From what I get right now is we're basically going to put off the Fantilia thing and all of that stuff. And we're going to go looking for Ting Yun and trying to figure out what happened to her. And maybe that will lead us to where Fantilia went. That is what I'm going to assume. Trying out the Xenomorph on D DBD. How are you? H how is the Xenomorph? I've heard good things about the Xenomorph. Who was playing it? Um the other day um that was unicorn unicorn was playing it the other day but i'm doing good i'm doing great we just started the trail the new trailblaze missions for star rail this is 1.3 they just updated it um to it was like late last night so we're checking out all the new content more new content will be out tomorrow and next week 
All right, we're, let's go talk to Yukong here. Yukong! Oh, Miss Mommy Yukong! I need to have a discussion with you. Can we go out to dinner? Hello? See. Please extend my regards to the Ten Lords. Oh, that's... What's her face? Um... Oh, what was her name? What was her name? I will. Yeah. Zhu Yi. Hellmaster. Hi. You have guests. I shall take my leave. Yu Kong. I she's gorgeous, man. She is just absolutely phenomenal. Yu Kong is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful character. <clears throat> On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I would like to thank the crew of the Express for saving the Law Fu from the Stellaron Crisis. You're welcome, Yukong. But we got bad news. We have bad news. Madam Yukong must have heard about Miss Tingyun. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's really all I can say. The Xenomorph is way OP, really? I haven't played DVD in like a year. I have it. I just haven't played it. Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return. Yukong, I'm really sorry. I need to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. Do you know, do you, does she have any idea, like, maybe what have happened to her? Miss Ting Yun left us behind. I don't think Ting Yun was, I don't think that was even Ting Yun. Um, it was almost like she was cloned or something. It was weird. Here's her fan. Yes. Here's her fan, Yukong. I still can't believe it. The whole report reads like a bad joke. It's simply unimaginable. I know. It sucks, Yukong. It really does. It's rough now. I've heard. The Antimatter Legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? I don't think that was the real Ting Yun, though. I don't think that was the real team. I spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission. It turned out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise. What happened to the real Ting Yun? I don't think that was the person that you've been working with for the last 30 years. I think this is this, is, this whole Ting Yun thing happened recently. And I don't know what happened to the real Ting Yun. That's why we're here. I'm sorry. I understand. It's just hard for me to accept. Uh, yeah, I get it. I'm sorry. All the positive vibes, Yukong. Send them all your way. Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron Crisis has cost us too many comrades, brothers, sisters, children. I know, and it's sad. I'd like to invite all of you as witnesses to this war to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Oh, yeah. Will you consider? Yeah, we'll go. Yes. Absolutely. A soul Absolutely. Ceremony? Whatever you need. It into short life terms. A funeral. I don't think we need one, though. See, I don't think she's dead. Death has always been a distant, mystical concept. I don't think Ting is dead. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. Right, I understand that, but like I said, I don't think Ting Yun's dead. The only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. We'll go. I'd be happy to attend. Lost their lives or became Mara struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. Right. Okay. I get that. Deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. Okay. Combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony. We honor those who have passed on. I don't think she's dead. I don't think she's dead. Star skiffs and send them out to sail between the stars. I don't think she's dead. Brightly among them. I think that was just like Fantilia magic, you know, conjuring up a fake Ting Yun 
and basically possessing her like a demon possessing a body, but I don't think that was the real Ting Yun body. It's not just to comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. We'll be there for you. We'll be there for you, Kong. She's still play with her. Yeah. So she's dead. I have a lot of questions. I can know what that's that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You she is still a playable character. She, you can still use her. Like you can still she's still in your party or whatever. I don't think that they would have her show up in 1.2 just to off her and have her as a character that you can start playing with if she's dead in story. That's why I don't think she's dead. I think she's being held somewhere. And I think from what I'm getting from this mission is we're going to end up finding her. I think that's what this is going to get to. It's going to get to us finding Ting Yun. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yun. I know. I'm selfish. You're going to be shocked when we find her alive. Because I'm telling you, I think she's alive. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. Ting Yun, Ting Yun is awesome. I'd like to hold this. I love her character. Of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. Uh, yeah, but I don't think that was her, Yu Kong. Still hardly believe. But they're trying to drive the point home. They are. They are trying to do everything they possibly can in this dialogue to drive the point home that Ting Yun that they think. Ting Yun is dead. Fu has said it. Yu Kong has said it. We're even going to have like a quote unquote, I don't know, funeral for her. They're really trying to drive the point home. This is the least I can do for her. I'd like to ask you all to witness this event with me. We'll be there. Yu Kong, whatever it is you need. Classic set it for a plot twist. That's what I'm saying. They are driving it home. But see, nobody saw the Ting Yun thing coming. You know what I mean? Like, no one saw the whole Ting... The, in the last Trailblaze mission, you didn't see what happened with Ting... Like, nobody saw that coming. You know what I mean? But I feel like now you can kind of see what's coming. Yeah, we'll be there for you, Yu Kong. How can we help? How can we help? Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star scaff. Yeah, we'll do whatever it is you need us to do. To us. We'll take care of it as per your wishes, Madam Yukong. Whatever you need, Yukong, Mama Yukong, sure thing. Once again, my thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony and have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Navalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. Sounds good, Yu Kong. Whatever you need, we got you. We got you. Yeah, I just don't think. But you can tell in the dialogue they're doing. They're trying to do everything that they can to drive the point home that everyone thinks that Ting Yun is dead. Even the main character, even like well, everybody thinks Ting Yun is saying Ting Yun is dead. I don't think she is. You always did say that I like to gossip. And here I am rambling on, proving you right again. If only you were here to cut me off. Who are you talking about, Yan Ming? You talking about Ting? I'm sorry. See, they're gonna be they're gonna drive this home. Or you could just cut or you could just cut yourself off, Mr. Yan Ming. Or you could yeah, just cut yourself off. Ah, I shouldn't have said that. That was kinda rude. That was kinda rude. Oh, it's you. For a moment I thought she'd return. Did the Helm Master send you over? Yeah, Yu Kong sent us over here to have a chat. She did. We're here to help sort out Miss Ting Yun's things. Madam Yu Kong wants to use some of them for her soul soothing ceremony. We're just here to help, bro. We managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please yeah, I get you. Okay, I bet you we're going to go through a box, we're going to find a clue, and that clue is going to lead us somewhere. We're going to find something in this box that is a clue, and it's going to lead us somewhere. 
Right? Okay, let's see what there is. Right? March, I think me and you are on the same page here because I know how you love murder mysteries. <laughs> as long as she doesn't play detective again, she will watch. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. An Amicassiter seal, a small box, a knife, a bow. Something wrapped up tight. Something wrapped up tight. Something wrapped up tight. It's a clue, March. It's a clue. Looks like some kind of antique. That's not a Daruma doll. That's one of those um. Hold on to something like. Oh, what are they called? What are they called? Oh, can you explain that one to me? It's a folk statuette from Foxian antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. Yeah, yeah. What are those things called in Japanese culture? I can't remember what they're called. Not Daruma dolls. Oh, what are they called? There's also a note in the package. Note. This is for you, Mr. Yenming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yenming, it seems like this is a gift for you. Oh, she left him a gift. Yun. How sweet is that? I, I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I... I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. Oh, sad. I'm sorry, dude. Ting Yun and I were from different guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. Yeah. We used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. Okay. A rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be Whistling the Flames Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. Oh, a violin that could shatter glass with its piercing shriek. Candy that can make your leg hair grow? What is this? Harry Potter? Or, or, are we at Hogwarts? What, what is going on? Oh, I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. Ting Yun's really sweet. Well, it wasn't really Ting Yun. We haven't even met the real Ting Yun. We don't know what she's like. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? You can't. She's gone for now. What are you going to do? Huh. Besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. Right. Yeah, I can see that, March. Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. We're gonna find something. We're gonna find something. Arcadia, we're gonna find something. I wanna take a look in the box. I wanna look. What's in the box? What's in the box? I wanna take a look at the box. Except a handful of seeds. Seeds? Why would she keep seeds? It looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. Uh oh. The Sleepless Earl. Well, let me think. Where have I seen that name before? Sleepless Earl. It sounds like a hotel, motel, brothel, something. I want to take a look at the knife. I can't cook to save my life, but one thing I'm sure of is that's a kitchen knife. Why was she holding on to a kitchen knife? I've never seen Miss Ting Yun use anything like that to defend herself. It must be another gift that she never had time to send. Is this just a story? Butcher's knife it's in the box? In the knife case. Spices Supreme. A room alley? Which store is that again? Arm alley, the new stuff. The new stuff, the new place, the new thing. I want to take a look at the bow. Bow. It's a good bow. It couldn't be meant for me. Could it? I, I don't know. Ting Yun's got some weird stuff. Weird stuff. Think again. Think All again. All right. Just kidding. <laughs> just trying to liven things up around here. I get it, March. We should get going. Do you know where we're supposed to take these things? Yukong, I guess. All right. So we grabbed her seal, small chest, sent to the Sleepless Earl. What is that? Sounds like a, like I said, a hotel or something. 
Give the gift to Ming Ming. Ming Ming? Ming Ming from the Sleepless Earl. Okay, so we're going to go to the Sleepless Earl. Arrive at Arm Alley. Yay! We can't. So this is kind of a new location. It's just an expansion on the. Lafu is Arm Alley, and this is something that will be released here in just a couple a couple days. Um, so we're gonna go check out the new Arm Alley, and it's over there. So, cause yeah, that did this used to be off limits? One of these used to be off limits. No, no, no. This was always available. All right. Was that was the, the little... name of that tea house at the port when we first got into town? This thing, where she she wants you to buy a um like boba tea or something, Welcome right? Welcome to the Sleepless Earl. I'm the owner here. The name's Ming Ming. How many of you? Ming Ming. There? Which tea would you like today? Oh, um, we're here on a gift giving errand for Miss Ting Yun. Oh, this is this is the tea Miss Ting Yun promised to get for me. She really went to another world for me. She's incredible. She is. We're gonna find her though. I don't think she's dead, Ming. Okay. Don't be sad. Over this tea house for my I don't want to give you false hope though. Because I don't know. To over the tea house for my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia. And imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Introducing a new product into the industry is really hard. Right, okay. This team Yoon came to the tea house one day and heard about my troubles. Oh, well, that's very nice of her. She said she could find me a brand new strain during her travels. One that nobody on the CNJO had ever tasted. Aw, Ting Yoon. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. So sweet. I never thought she'd actually do it. Where is Miss Team Yoon today? Ming, that's the question. That is the million dollar question. Where is Miss Ting Yoon today? That is the million dollar question. She's had to embark on another long voyage. I'm afraid Miss Ting Yoon is. No, I don't want to tell this kid Miss Ting Yoon is dead. Why do I keep calling her Miss Ting Yoon? I don't want to tell her that Ting Yoon is dead. I'm just going to be like, she's gone for now yes. because. Now that the crisis has been reported and reports are resuming operations, Ms. I think she's dead. has been dispatched on business with the Skyfaring Commission out to other worlds. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Well, hold on a sec. All right, holding on. Ming Ming serves the tea she brewed. Oh, she's gonna give us free tea. Based on her suggestion, I improved the Whale Tide Spring, Emerald Hills, and Dawn Dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet, long-lasting taste. I called it Ting Yoon's Blend. You named a tea after Ting Yoon. As she can't enjoy it right now, I'll have to invite all of you to try a cup. Of course, of course. Is it iced tea though? Is it sugared? All right. Arrive at Arm Alley. All right, now we're gonna go see Arm Alley. Now we're gonna go see Arm Alley. All right, let's do it. All right, Arm Alley, Arm Alley, Arm Alley. Where is Arm Alley? Zante Sanctum. Let's go here. Arm Alley is gonna be over here to the left. I like this code. All right. Let's check out the new location. Am I supposed to talk to Xing Xing Shei? Xing Shei? How's it going? Did you get time off? See any more of the Sienjo? I would have you heard of Spices Supreme? Place on Aurum Alley over an exalting sanctum? Yeah, that's where we're going. Booties go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? Xing no, I I just I just want to go there. But if you are, if you're hungry, it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Right, I'm sure. Starskiff always head to Starwatcher Avenue in Starskiff Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. Tell us where it is. Oh, thanks. I'm tired of celestial jade or slacking off. I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Tofu. Darn it, Ooh. I brought it up. I suddenly don't feel like clocking in for work anymore. Well, I'm sorry if you gotta go to work. 
Uh, maybe I can bring you some food on your lunch break. What's in the vending machine here? Anything? Skill source, spring water. Okay, nothing really. Well, so Xing Sheng is going off to work. So, <coughs> excuse me. Give the gift to Yan Kui from Spices Supreme. All right, let's go off to our alley. Let's check out the new location in the Lafu. Where is it? Oh, wow, it's pretty and mm, it's kind of run down. Hi, hi, hi. Where is everybody? Check out that sign. Here it is. Where is everyone? Where's everybody yet? Guests, welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? What do you got? Can I see a menu? We're here on a gift giving errand for Miss Ting Yun. Something from Miss Ting Yun for me? Yes. Oh, oh. oh what a precious person she is. Oh, a sweet Just a random girl. kitchen knife. Bring me a kitchen knife. Just here you go. When she first ate here, I told her my motto: You can't better your own food unless you taste it. Then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. All right. She activated. She pestered me about dish after dish. At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift. A sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> that's how she put it. Oh, that's very nice of Miss Ting Yun. came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. <sighs> Look how sharp it is. I bet it cut straight through a Thalassa titanium terrapin shell. Say that five times fast. <sighs> Miss Tingyun is too kind. Who among the Aram Alley vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames? Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If we're talking gifts, it's us who should be gifting her something. Right? How come y'all haven't? I heard the trade port is open again for business. Miss Ting Yun must be real busy, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll say. She's, yeah, she's busy. I'm not going to say it. Ting Yun is dead. I'm not going to say it. You can't make me say it, game. Indeed, she's busy. Miss Ting Yun couldn't tear herself away from work, so we've had to gift this on her behalf today. Oh, really? Thank you so much. Why don't I give you all a demonstration and prepare a dish? my treat i'd love to repay this kindness sure thing what do you got what are you gonna make us this curry would be great steaming bowl of food well, what kind of food of which it was our chili beef awful stew that first attracted miss ting oh that restaurant. sounds yummy <laughs> it's spicy sumptuous and guaranteed to get the mouth watering not even a girl as refined as ting yun could resist the temptation well if it's got the word chili in it and beef who could resist about that bow i think i know who miss ting yun intended to gift it to who well who where are we going Yan ming said an ami cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague the person who ting yun trusts the most is madam yukong right where the heck are the stairs so we're gonna go back to yukong wait how did i get up here oh they're right here so this is arm alley can I look around? Where is everyone? I thought I thought Ching Chai said this was like a popping place. Doesn't look very popping to me. Just people just chilling. I was expecting something like Mardi Gras or something. You know what I mean? Like, oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Open it up. What's in here? What's in here? It's a dining. Cause that to you, unfortunately, you're not March 7th, and you can't understand what it's trying to tell you as it opens his mouth. You see a note, read the note. Rice ball barked at you after you broke up. These memories have left me in deep pain, so I'm returning this thing to you. This thing that you bought with a loan that's to be paid for over 3,000 re repayments. I hope you will take responsibility and look after it. 3,000. I would like you to return all the jade abacus and clothes I bought for you or every anniversary holiday over there are years together. If you won't return them, then please pay 31,520 strails to your bank account. What do you want me to Venmo you? What, what, what cash app? There are also fees for meals, rent, star skiff maintenance, and mental counseling. You are still to see so many figures written on a single piece of paper. You run your hand around the inside of the box to find another note. Keep reading. 
Firstly, let's get this straight. It was you who kept telling me to take out a loan to buy rice ball. Secondly, just give up. You think I don't know what kind of games you're playing? You want to give this to me so I can remind me of you, don't you? You think my heart will skip a beat when I see this dog and I'll come running back to you? You think seeing all your bills will keep me up at night, racked with guilt, right? Wow, something, man. We've been fighting, arguing, ignoring each other, and reconciling just to fight again over 10,000 days and nights now. This little drama has gone on too long. I'm tired. I'm done. I've had it. Oh, it's a breakup note. They're breaking up. Perhaps you're going to say that all of this is my self-indulgent imagination, but then I'd like to ask you one thing. Why do you know my current address? Wow, stalker. Drama llama going on in here, right? It's as if you're trapped between a pair of lovers, paralyzed in shock as you hear them reel off the many things they have done to annoy each other, no matter how trivial these actions can be. You rummage through the box again, and unbelievable, inconceivable, there's another note that's been crumbled into... I don't know if I want to read it again, um, or read more. Wow, you're really into that pretty petty gossip. I'm not gossiping, okay? You guys shouldn't leave this stuff laying around. This lost third note is actually not another list of heartbroken accusations a dieting warranty card? Sorry, I know you're disappointed. Artistry hardware can repair dieting, but we will never be able to repair a broken relationship. Either way, in your spirited quest for knowledge, you've lost some precious few minutes of your life to learn a vivid lesson in intimate relationships. You decide to send the little dog over to the realm, keeping commission. They will find a fitting home for this dieting. I got a oh, praise of high morals. Wow, there was that was a lot to take in there. That was a lot. So arm alley. Okay, okay. But I'm going to assume I know that there is like an event. It's going to be a permanent thing. Arm Alley is going to be a permanent thing or whatever. And from what I understand, you can kind of rebuild Arm Alley or make it more. What's the word? I'm, what's what's the word? Oh, I see a chest. Are there chests in here? Wait, can you tell me on the map? There's seven. There's seven chests in here. Seven chests. I don't want to look for all of them because I can I look for like all of them offline. But we might be able to find a, a few real quick. Uh, okay, that's activated. Is that where it came in? That's not where it came in at. So from what I understand, the event, you can basically revitalize. That's the word that I'm looking for. You can revitalize Arm Alley. Now, whether that reflects in game or not, as in like, okay, you can't go this way. Another locked off area. It makes me wonder if you can, like once you get going in the event, if it'll show up here in game. Do you know what I mean? Um, but we don't know. Kind of like the museum event? Yeah, sort of. From what I understand, that's what it is. You can kind of revitalize this area. But like I said, it makes me wonder if the things that you do during the event show up on the map as you progress here to do, like when you come in here to do like quests and things like that. So I'm not sure. All right, let's go see Yu Kong. Um, she is over here. So let's go check her out. But yeah, I kind of like the museum event. Kind of, kind of, kind of. At least that's what I gathered from it. Yukong, I have a bow for you, Yukong. I don't know why we didn't give it to her before she left. <coughs> Hi! You here? Um, we have a bow. We're here to pass on a gift from Miss Ting Yoon. It's a bow. This bow. Did Ting Yoon pick it out for me? She understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. You, Kong, stop being sad and sappy. Okay? ago, I fought in a terrible war. She's not dead. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. What happened to your comrade? The scars of that war never truly healed. Still, the law food traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. Right, okay. I felt tired of voyaging. Like I'd lost the courage to pull She is beautiful, man. Yu Kong is just gorgeous. I the Sky Faring Commission and buried myself in work. Like just her outfit and like the little details in her, like her purple like the purple eyes and like the little hairpin and just she's a great character. Despite rising to Helm Master, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. 
Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant. Always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice. Even if she was my subordinate. Okay. She fought alongside me on the battlefield. But in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. She's not dead, Yu Kong. I used to think that the Sien That's kind of what I want to scream at her. Genius Be like, Yu Kong! With the future for the sky -faring and how come nobody is? They would bring prosperity to the Law Fu. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. Hey, Yu Kong, I'm sorry. It'll be okay. Don't worry. I was wrong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out will I become useless to the Xianzhou. The Xianzhou needs people like me, those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. Right, yeah, they do need you, Yu Kong. You're not so wrong. He's ready for the ceremony now. Okay. Everyone. So we're going to do the ceremony for Ting Yun, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you watch. Wait, wait, wait for me. Is that? Oh, that's what's his name? Um, her colleague. Yeah, Yan Ming. Gift for me. As a fellow ambassador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. Okay. What does she prepare for you? Yan what is it? What is it that you've prepared? What did you prepare? I I've brought a paper kite. Oh, a kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but it has a deeper meaning. And? That Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars no it sounds like young Ming had like a little bit of a crush on ting yun her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy let's do it let's do it items obtained what a soul 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 soothing paper kite select which of the gifts returned by the people you wish to place into the ceremony star skiff is there going to be like a scene coming up? Do I need to turn the music off and do, turn the music on? Is there a scene about to happen? I don't know. That's the thing about these. You don't never know about the music. Um, so what do you, you want me to select which of the gifts return to the people you wish? So I, you want me to put what? Out of all this stuff we've got, what do you think we should place on the star's gift? I don't know. She's not dead. Nothing. The Amicassiter seal, the tea named after her, her favorite dish, the soul soothing paper kite. Uh, well, I mean, look, the dish, the person's not here. The the tea person, the tea kid isn't here. Amicassiter seal, no. I just do the kite just simply because the guy showed up with the kite. He's here. I don't want to say, hey, bro, thank you for making this kite, but nah, I don't think I'm gonna put it on the star scale. You know, I'm gonna give him I'm gonna put the we need put the kite on. Go. Fly on to other distant worlds. And put on the kite. He's here. Oh, do we get to on, do we get to put them all on? Um, I want to put her the Amicassiter seal. Yu Kong, do we have to put them all on? I guess we're gonna put them all on, right? The small seal is the foundation of the Xianzhou's prosperity. Okay, Yu Kong, nice words. This tea. Is the tea that Meng Ming has made, especially named after you. That was really sweet. And her this favorite is a dish. Gift from Miss Yen Sui on behalf of all the restaurants on Arum Alley. You're going to love this. Have some food, Ting. Even though you're not dead. I'll never forget you, Ting Yun. I will seek out the truth, and if it is discovered that you were taken from us, I oh, Yu Kong's pissed. Then your unjust end. Yu Kong is mad. I wouldn't want to make Yu Kong mad. It is time for the uh -uh. ceremony. Please make your way to Earthrise Agora in Starskiff Haven. All right, let's go. Let's go to the soul-soothing ceremony, even though 
I'm telling you, I kind of want to just scream, get on a box and just be like, she's not dead. Kind of like um the uh, that one guy from Lord of the Rings. Remember where they were like, he's not dead. He's not dead from um Return of the King. Where the one person was trying to burn his son or something. Remember everybody remember that? Do you remember that? And then little what was his face? Um the little hobbit guy was like, He's not dead, he's not dead. That's kind of what I want to do. Is that a stain? Kind of what I want to do. That's so pretty. Well, this is the scene from the trailer. There's Jean. That's so pretty. It's such a beautiful game. Like, man. General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my astral. <sighs> Jing, what do you want now? Now, what do you want? I couldn't get to you any sooner. Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Good. Before you leave, are you? Food, there are two things I wish to gift the Express. And what? those are? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? Yeah, he didn't even say thank you. You're too kind, General. I'd like some free real estate, please. Yeah, I'm going to tell the General I'd like some free real estate, please. Let us reconvene at the seat of the free house suicide. would be great. All right, we'll see you there. So Jing wants to give us a couple of gifts. Accept the token of alliance from Jing Yu Yuan. Okay. Going to go see Jing. Going to go see Jing. Let's go here. What is it? And that was funny. That was a, that was a funny option where he's like, "Free real estate, free real estate." Oh, I gotta go this way. Mm -mm -mm. Free housing and lodging, please. Free food. Like seriously, how come we're not having a party? Would you like me to relay your message? Yes. I'm. I'm let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. All right, let's chat with Jing here, bro. What are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? Present company is What's done? to reiterate the Sienjo La Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the Nameless. Wait a second. What is Don Hung doing here? Can he switch back and forth between Imbibitor Lune and Don Hung, or is or is that not the same person? What? What? Wait, what? Why is Don Hung here? That doesn't make any sense. I'm confusion. I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already, but the Law Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the Law Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus, a symbol of our allied friendship. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jing. Very kind. Thank you. Thank you. A Jade Abacus? Is this a souvenir? A Jade Abacus? Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago, the Sienjo ships swore an oath, etching the record into a Jade Abacus. The world may crumble, and the heavens may fall, but this oath shall never be broken. This okay. is true of this Jade Abacus. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the Jade Abacus here. Oh, is it like saying, hey, I'm in trouble, help? No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Law Fu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew, whatever your need may be. Sounds good. Wow. Now that's what I call a payoff. I agree, March. I agree. That's a good deal. That's a good. That's a sweet deal. <clears throat> of course, I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. He's basically telling us not to ever use it. He's basically saying, "Don't ever use it." That's what he's trying to say without saying it. Yep, got it. Say no more. Sure thing. 
He's saying you better make sure you you know what you're doing when you call Thank me. You for your generosity. Don't just call me for a barbecue. I mean, um, to be honest, if if they were having a barbecue and I had one half, I better get a call saying, "Hey, we're barbecuing. You want to come over?" Honestly, Don yes, Don. General. Questions. To the edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. From this day henceforth, you may come and go freely on the law foo. Good. Nice. Good. Good. Nice. Not a complete surprise. Nice. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna be like March. Nice. But I must he does remind you look that the very happy. Fung have had far-reaching implications, and some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. Well, while I can guarantee whatever. your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. I think we'll be all right, Jing. Zio, hi, how have you been? It's good to see you, friend. What are you up to? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. How are you? How have you been? Appreciate I you. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound is feeling much improved. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. Poetry? Why not food? Though I feel my efforts would be overshadowed by the erudition of Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. Why can't just t t take take us out for like ice cream? The express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. We do. May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. <laughs> I bid you farewell. Bye, Jing. Man, he's got a really commanding voice. I will give him that. Click anywhere. Okay, Jade, Abacus of Allying Oath. Zio, how are you? It's good to see you. Plan for the future after discussions with your companions. Optional, before you return to the Express, bid farewell to the people you got to know on the Janjo. So basically, you're... So are we leaving? Wait, are we leaving? Is that what... Plan for the future. Where are we going? There isn't any other planet to go to. We just keep saving all these planets like it's nothing. You know what I mean? Just We're just showing up, taking care of business. They can't handle things on their own. You know what I'm saying? Gosh, got to do everything around here. If you, want done, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. You know, you want something done right, got to do it yourself. Talk to my companions. Like who? Like Fu? All right, we're going to talk to our crew here and see where we're going to go. Welt, what is up? Message, what are we doing? The Express detected the Jade Gates reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. Okay, let's go back. Also asking after you, Don Hung. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? It'd probably, probably be a good idea. She, she probably, probably yes. Worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. All right, Don, you do that. Himiko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission, too, right? Well, yeah, probably. We have, She's got a lot to catch up on. Uh, hang on. Oh, a lot. Forget. We should bring something back for the conductor. Oh, yeah, Pum Pum. You got any unfinished business on the Sienjo? I don't think so. I'd like to visit some of the friends we made along the way. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't mind visiting some of our friends. Let's go visit oh, yeah. some friends. There People we haven't said goodbye to yet. Fine, fine. Don Hung and I but we can always come back and say bye. It's not like you come back soon, okay? You know, we're leaving forever. Emma, hi, how are you, love? How have you been? It's good to see you. How are you? How are you? How are you? Um, yeah, we'll come don't back. Don't worry, Mr. Yang. We'll be back. Don't worry. So are we going to go say return to the express and report back to Himiko or optional before is foo around here somewhere? Like what friends are they talking about? It's not like we're going to be gone forever. I'm going to assume they're talking about like Yukong foo, but I don't see foo anywhere. Um, oh, we could talk to, can we talk to, um, Yanqing? Can we talk to, Oh, there's something on the table. Give me that. Can we talk to Yanqing? Yanqing. I know we haven't got the chance to get acquainted, but I've heard a lot of good things about the crew from the general. 
I have to say, I'm very impressed. I'd be impressed too. Emma, I'm doing good. I'm doing great. How are you? How have you been? It's good to see you. I love your face. I'm leaving the Lafu. Yanqing, yes, soon. Uh, like I now. I to help the general, but things didn't turn out how I wanted them to be. I've learned my lesson. You'll be also, fine. I have a You're your kid. Request. Now I'm what? I feel like my skills are lacking somewhere. You want me yeah, to coach you? Coach me. You want me to coach you? I think Don Hung is a better match for you. We could schedule in a couple of rounds. Yeah, we could schedule in a couple of rounds. Yanqing, sure thing. Safe travels. Thanks, thanks. All right, let's go back to the... Ex Whoops, I didn't mean to hit her technique. Let's go back to the Express and talk to Himiko. It's not like we're going to be gone forever. So let's... Himiko, we have a lot to talk about. There's a dreamlike quality to watching these star skiffs depart through the Jade Gate. How long will these ships sail? And which stars are they traveling to? We don't know. We don't know. But Emma, I'm doing great. I'm addicted to this game. I can't stop playing it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Scotty, what's up, dude? How are you? Happy Wednesday. What are you up to today? How's your week been? Happy 1.3 day. From a universal perspective, there is little difference between the lives of long and short life species. The transcendence that the Sienjo pursues is nothing compared to the enduring majesty of the stars. And the grief felt here is no different from our own. Right, right. Well, you're always words of wisdom. Himiko, we have a lot to talk about. Got to bring you up to speed. Didn't know you were a poet, Mr. Yang. Sorry to interrupt the poetry. I didn't know you were a poet, Mr. Yang. Yeah, you're back. Mm -hmm. Himiko and I were just discussing our journey. And what does she think? Got your laptop reset, downloading stream, or downloading Steam and Streamlabs right now. Gonna try and stream fully night. Do it. Okay, back. Welcome back. Welcome back. This little excursion has reached its conclusion. All things must come to an end. Still, some endings spark a new beginning. Yes, where are we going? I think I should be the one trailblazing with you guys. Well, can stay on the express. Sure, Himiko. Sure. Sure thing. Since when did the work roster? You stick out like a sore like thumb, that? but sure. I, hey, she makes the rules, I guess. Yeah, where are we going next? I miss you here in Minnesota. It's good to see you, Emma. It's good to see you. I miss you too. How is good old Minnesota? How is it? How are you? How are streams been going? What's our next stop so we can warp jump as planned this time? Yeah, where are we going next? Penaconi. Do you remember? Penaconi. proposal, that was our original destination. Penaconi? Wait, wait, wait. Think I need a reminder. Yeah, I need a reminder. Penaconi. The Express's records show that Penaconi was a prison planet. Prison planet. IPC to exile criminals. At least it wait, was wait. at the time of recording. Did they give us a new planet? No yeah, way. Following a Stellaron burst, the planet fell into the arms of Shipe. They say it's been transformed into a prosperous and ethereal realm. So we're going to, so there's a new planet. Did they add a new planet? No way. No shot. It's freaking hot. They're good. I've been on a three week break because of moving and your birthday and preparing for the event, but you're back this weekend. Nice. What are you going to be playing? The family is throwing a banquet there and they sent invitations out to the express. I was curious about the state of the planet, so I accepted. We are going to go to a party. Let's go. Ready? We can set off for the next stop. Wait, wait, wait. are we seriously going to go to another planet right now? Meanwhile, in the Shackling prison, <clears throat> Locha. All who enter here are either jailers or prisoners. Which are you? <laughs> Neither. I'm merely a lost traveler <gasps> what a spectacle the stellaron the ambrosial arbor the disciples of sanctus medicus the what Lord is going Lord. on a series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question they who brought the stellaron onto the siendro what was their motive <laughs> 
Will you surrender? Or do you require encouragement? Abomination of Yaosher. General, my power does indeed stem from the abundance. But I'm the same as you. We are both enemies of Yaosher. What's going on? Right, What's going on? The revival of the Arbor is an omen. It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next path. What's going on? Is that Jing? The Rainbow Arbiter, the Plague's author, the Ruin author. It's Jing Liu. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to lose. And this time, we will put the abundance in their grave. So is Jing Liu and Locha like working together? Stay tuned to find out what happens next in the upcoming installment. That is all the Trailblaze missions. That's all the Trailblaze missions that they added to 1 3. That's it. That's it. That's all that they added. What? No way. Fuck's sake. Probably Spyro. That's all that they added. So I'm nice. So okay, I'm gonna assume that one four is gonna have a new planet. And how did Jing Yuan capture Locha? And Jing Liu is trying to, I guess, break Locha out. So one four has to have a new planet has to or a new location the the shackled prison right the prison planet what they what she say it was called uh, i can't remember what she said it was called <laughs>